We are repotting our rerooted tomatoes. We actually cut them out the ground. Some of them we cut out the pot. These we cut out the pots. Uh, so we're gonna actually show you how they look with the roots regrown. And we're gonna take those plants and we're gonna put them in some buckets and repot them again. Today is May 2nd. That gives you an idea of exactly when we're doing it. And if they make it, you'll know how long it takes for those roots to catch in that soil. That's good, son. Thanks. Let's show them how it's done. Welcome to Louisiana Garden Family. Today is May the 2nd. And today we're gonna be potting these. Uh, I think the video, y'all haven't seen it yet. But we're gonna put a video out showing that how we've done that. So by the time you see this video, you have already seen that video to see. And we got some more, and we're gonna do a better uh, time lapse to show you exact time frame. This one, I'm not quite sure when we started it. Uh, I tried to hit the ballpark on it, uh, but we'll start from, from just potting them to show you how we did it. Okay, so we have four tomato plants. We've actually cut these out of our tomato pots here where they were growing up side by side and we actually cut them out and we've actually rerooted them. Now this is one of the lesser ones uh, that has uh, not as many roots coming out and it's because it keeps falling over for some reason. So uh, same thing to plant this, we're gonna cut off these and we're gonna plant this whole stem hopefully up to here as deep as it can go in the pot. Also along with that, I'm gonna do something new. I've been seeing it on channels, uh, just, just a few channels here and there. And I'm gonna do this to try to combat the watering so I can know exactly how much water I'm giving uh, these plants. So we'll get this. I'm gonna finish uh, going around here like, like this. Basically, these will be, do not use a knife at home. I think it's better if you use a drill so you don't cut yourself. But we're just putting holes in these little inconspicuous places. I'm gonna plant that right on side of where I'm gonna put this tomato plant. And I'm gonna put it in, come on in closer. This is the bottom, so I'm not gonna put it dead on the bottom, but I'm gonna plant it about right here, and we're gonna fill everything up with soil to this level. So let us get our soil out. This is uh, a little just natural organic potting mix we just picked up at Walmart. Still waiting on them to go down on the price. So with this, this one I'm gonna just show you all the way and the rest of them, I'm just gonna go ahead on and pot them and we'll talk about it a little bit, what we're trying to accomplish. So I know I want that in that middle, standing up nice and tall. Turn that a little bit. So this way, uh, the, the bottle is gonna be for the watering. I've been seeing a lot of people doing that with the uh, like terracotta pots, uh, things like that. They've been using as a watering technique, especially when the winter, here our, I mean not the winter, the summer, here our summers tend to get pretty hot. Uh, pots tend to dry out faster. So this will be a way for me to know for sure that I'm getting water to the roots as opposed to just watering on the top and the water not getting down deep enough. If I water in here, I know the water goes to the bottom of this uh, little bottle and it should release under this soil, which should give us adequate water for one tomato plant. But you see how, how far I planted the tomato plant itself, the vine I would call it, 
and that's gonna everything that that's touching soil should exhibit some roots in some form or another I'm gonna get it up a little bit higher uh, to the edge of that rim and basically that's what we want this soil had been outside at Walmart so it's already wet so I may water it in today when I'm doing my daily watering uh, but I won't water it right now so let me go ahead on we're gonna do maybe two pots with the bottles and the other two we're gonna do without the bottles and we'll kind of gauge how they're doing uh, as time progresses on our update so give us a second and let us get the rest of these things potted okay so we have these two uh, potted up and basically it's with the bottles on the side you'll see them sticking out and I'll try to water with the hose pipe uh, on the full adjustment to see if I can get them into there. If not, I'm not worried about it. I just want it there as a fail safe for if I want to use uh, those bottles to make sure that it's getting watered. So I'll show you how we actually pot these out. And all I'm doing is I, I filled up the pots with the potting soil. Got a pretty, pretty deep uh, hole. And you'll see the, the root mass on these. So I want to take these bottom ones off. And I want that to go as deep as I can. Not too deep to the bottom of the pot, but that's a good amount of, if you can look down there, that's gonna be a good amount of room for roots to grow from. And basically once you do that, pretty much just fill in the soil around it. A little light tapping. Now I'll do one more. You can actually take that soil if you want to, this soil, not soil, the water, uh, if you want to water it in, but the soil is already wet. Put that to the side. Do the same thing one more time. Now this pot isn't as deep, but these were plants that we could have thrown away or lost. So it's a win. Take that off. So once again, today is May 2nd, and these are going in the ground. Now, I know that 100% if you drop your tomatoes in water, they will root. Uh, now, where you start to lose on percentage-wise is all four of these might not make it. Uh, this is the real rooting process. Getting the, the roots to come out of the stem, it's easy. Drop them in water the roots automatically grow. Remembering to water these and giving them enough water or not too much, I don't think they can get too much water, but remembering to give them the water they need, especially tomatoes will let you know they will really droop over. Keep them watered until they root, perfect. They should make it every time. Uh, I'm gonna put these under our carports because I don't want them in direct sunlight just now. So I'll put them in that, that early, early morning sun then about 10 o'clock, I'll have the space where they, they get no sun at all. So, we'll catch you on the update. Thank you for watching us. Uh, we're planting our little re-rooted tomatoes. Grow, grow. You see that dirt? Grow. <laughs> Goodbye.